Hello and thanks for tuning in. I'm um, going to be going through my latest PSA submission that just came back. Um, it's uh, pan out here a little bit. It's uh, 200 cards I submitted. Uh, most of them holdered. As you can see there's a small stack there that was rejected. Um, I'll go through them in two videos to keep the video length short. Um, mostly, uh, most of the cards are from 1969 and 1970. They're all baseball. Some Hall of Famers mixed in. Um, and there's some cards earlier and a few later as well. So uh, without further ado, I'll go ahead and start going through what I just got back. Okay, 62s are tough. Uh, this is uh, PSA 7 Tom Morgan. <clears throat> 73. Uh, that's a 7 as well. Wow. Uh, Dick Selma. So that's a lower grade than I expected. But I think there's a few good hits in here from what other people have told me. Uh, another 7. Uh, batting Leaders, 1970 with Pete Rose. A couple stars in there. Um, oh, wow. Um, World Series is uh, 6.5. So again, some low grades here on the back end of the sub. Okay, here's a better one. 8.5 for Bob Didier, 1970. That's a tough card. And 8.5 on Lou Brock. Normally I don't get many half grades, so this grader must have been uh, more apt to give half grades. Then uh, 8 on the World Series uh, summary. And a 9 on the Len Gabrielson. It's a fairly easy 69 common, but it's nice to get a 9. Oh, 7.5 on the 1956. So, hoping for 8s on those to build my set. And an 8.5 on the Fred Norman. Uh, that's a, quite a few half points for uh, those few cards. So we'll see if that continues throughout the sub. Okay, grab the next stack. <clears throat> and we've got an 8 on the Jerry Johnson Mini. 1975 Mini. And a 9 on the Pete Richard. Uh, I think that's a pretty tough card, so that's a good hit there. And a 9 on the Gene Kleins, 73. We'll see if we get any 10s in here. A 9 on the John Lowenstein. So a nice run of 9s happening here. And an 8 on the uh, 1975 Mini Willie Crawford. Okay, number 611 is a Mint 9. Rookie Stars with Richie Zisk. It's one of the more common rookies, but uh, it's nice to get a nine. And uh, seven and a half on the uh, Cliff Cook. So 62 is really tough to get eights on. And here is an eight. So Jim Pendleton did get an eight. And a seven on the Don Farisi. And an eight on the George Brett. So this, the first few I I did see the grades when they posted. The others I haven't looked at, so maybe the first seven or eight cards. So these next seven or eight, I I know what I got. So that was a pretty good hit, a PSA eight, and a mint nine. And this is a pretty tough um, low pop uh, rookie uh, card from '73. So that's going to go in my set. I needed that. Uh, I was hoping for a nine on the Hundley. This is another tough card. '74 Hundley, an eight. And the 9 on the Carlton Fisk, that was a nice hit, because I need that for an upgrade to my set. And the Joe Morgan also got a 9. So, some good hits there. And I've never had good luck with this card for some reason. <laughs> a lot of vending, but they all got 8s. Um, and it's not that tough of a card, but it's Lou Gehrig, so it was pretty cool. Ooh, nice hit there. Steve Carlton, a 9. So that's a nice upgrade for me. Nice to hit a Hall of Famer in a mint condition. And the next batch. Got a 65 um, Dick Green. It's PSA 8. And a near mint on the 71 Jerry Stevenson. These are always frustrating, the black bordered cards. It's very 
tough to predict how they're going to grade out. I've graded many thousands of these and got an 8 on Paul Shal. And an 8 on the Joe Horner 69. And an 8 on the Harmon Killebrew. I was hoping to maybe get a 9 on that one. And a 9 on the Tom Matchick. An 8 on the Mazeroski 69. And 8 on the Holtzman. That would have been a nice 9. That's another very tough card in mint condition. And 8 on the Sandy Alomar. So a lot of 8s here. There's a couple in here. I'm hoping he'll get 9 tough ones. Uh, Ted Kubiak at 8.5. So again, another half grade. And 8 on the Alex Johnson. So I'm not doing too great on these. These were pretty high end, so I was hoping to get more 9s. Um, Bob Pretty in 8.5. Maybe I'll resub a couple of these. The lower pop ones. 8 on the uh, Manny Moda. And 8 on the Phil Gagliano. Again, a lot of pack, <clears throat> pack fresh cards, so they're real tough on giving 9s out these days. And here is a 9 on a Rico Cardi. Um, it's a nice mint card, 1970. And Billy Williams gets an 8. So another Hall of Famer, but eight, uh, PSA 8. Jim Nash is an 8. And Joe Torrey gets an 8. At least I'm minimizing the 7s and 6s and 5s right now. Jim Qualls gets an 8. So again, I was hoping for a few more Mint 9s in the uh, 1970. These were basically pack fresh cards that were taken out of the packs and put aside, stored in boxes for years without being touched. And uh, But with the gray borders, they don't allow much wear to knock it down. Lee May in 8. And Louis Tiant in 8. Tommy Dean 8. Looks like they're just going to eat all these. And yep, Ken Berry in 8. The uh, PSA 8 commons here mostly aren't, aren't too scarce and valuable. Uh, Bob Veal, 8. And Fergie Jenkins, 8. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. Uh, Cubs, 8. Walter Alston, an 8. 8.5 on the Joe Sparma. I go through 200 card subs without a half grade, and this one I've got tons. Uh, here's a 7. That's always painful. And 8.5 on the McCovey. Maybe that's a resub candidate with all these half points. Some of those might bump. Uh, Lowell Palmer in 8. And here's a 9 finally. Ron Woods. This is a pretty common 9 though. So <laughs> I'd rather get it on one of the tougher cards. Um, Jim Spencer, 8. <clears throat> Paul Popovich, a 9. Uh, checklist is an 8. And the uh, ALCS Game 3 is an 8. Jim Northrup an 8. And Jerry Grody an 8. So, very heavy on the 8s here. Hopefully I did better on the 73s. So far they've been pretty good. There's some more 73s coming up here. Rusty Torres is an 8.
Bruce Dow Canton, eight. Jeff Torborg, a nine. Don't think that's a very tough card either. Uh, Jim Wynn, eight. Rod Carew, eight. Nine on the Paul Doyle. And eight on the Jim McAndrew. So we got two eights on those. Another eight on Jim Qualls. And nine on the Joe Rudy. Again, not a very tough card, but at least uh, they're throwing me a few nines here. An 8.5 on the Harmon Kilbrew. This was a pretty nice card. I was hoping it would nine. So for some reason, they're holding back a lot of these. Oh, that's a nice one. Gem Mint 10 on the Louis Tiant. So hopefully I had a couple more of those to make it. Oh, here we go. Another Gem Mint A's Stars. Not sure on the population on those. Mint 9 on Tom Bergmeier. Bergmeier, I guess. Mint 9 on the Jim Hart. Jim Mint 10 on Jim Nash. So another 10. Hitting some 10s now. And uh, 8 on the Willie Stargell. That would have been nice to get a 10 on that one. Uh, Mint 9 on a 65. Gary Arrigo. That's nice. And an 8, Ken Retzer, 65. <clears throat> and 8 for the uh, rookie catchers, 73. Hal Breeden, 8. I didn't think this would 9, but I was really hoping that would be 1. To get a 9 on, it's a very tough card to get in. Nine condition, mint condition. Gaylord Perry, uh, eight. A nine on the Dave Nelson. So those tens help uh, make up for all the eights that I got. <laughs> a nine on the Gary Matthews, that's a good upgrade for me. For my set. Eight, Mike Kilkenny. It's another tough card to get in mint condition. And eight on the Harmon Killebrew. It's had a little bit of print on the uh, background, so probably downgraded all those. I bought like four or five of them. And uh, eight on the uh, Earl Williams. Eight on uh, Dick Dietz in action. This is a tough card, so even an eight is pretty good on that one. Eight on the uh, 69 World Series Game 3. Yeah, they did not treat me well in these 1970s. Uh, eight on the Bruce Dow Canton. And eight on the Wayne Garrett. That's another tough card that I was hoping would nine. Eight on the 65 Floyd Robinson. Eight on 65 Clayt Boyer. Eight on the 75 tops, Joe Ferguson. And eight on the 75, Dick Pohl. And a nine on uh, Gus Triandos, 1965. So that's a nice hit. A nine on the Mike Wagner. This is, a, I think, a pretty common nine. Seem to be giving me the nines on the uh, common ones. <laughs> and uh, game three NL playoffs. Uh, that's the Ryan, Nolan Ryan, uh, PSA 8. Okay, so that's uh, the first batch. I'll stop the video and uh, start another batch uh, here shortly. And uh, these will both be up on YouTube. Thank you. Thanks for watching.